Hello, it's five minutes till ten. I bet I better do my bread. I'm going to do some more comments first. Amish Horse had made a comment on Movie 003. Really enjoy driving with you. In fact, I prefer to be the passenger. I like to leave the driving to my daughter whenever possible on long trips. Yes, I think I'll do that with my daughter when I take her to Nova Scotia. I'll let her drive. Patrick Argentina, who I imagine is from Argentina, right, Patrick? Made a comment on movie 002. They don't turn on automatically in our cars, but there's a new law that says everyone must turn on the lights in routes to avoid accidents. It does help because you don't know if people are coming towards you or going away when they're far away. But you can see if they've got their white lights or the red lights. You can tell if they're in your lane. If they're, you know, it keeps you, especially where there's lots of straight roads, because it's kind of hard to judge sometimes how much distance you've got. So there's head-on collisions. Robot Motor has made a comment on 002. Hi, Nancy. Thank you for teaching us. Thanks for post a video. I love you. Well, thank you very much. But I think you're a man, and I don't say I love you to men, unless you're my husband or my children. So forget that. Lil Tiny has made a comment on Movie 001. I've noticed people uploading videos to YouTube that are longer than 10 minutes, but I cannot upload them myself that are longer than that. Not sure how people do that. I wonder if it depends on the type of account you have with YouTube. If you figure it out, let us know. I love your videos. Especially the long ones where you take us on a trip someplace or teach us something to cook or make. Oh, heck, I love all of them. Lol. Dina. Well, um, I know that you can upload. It will take it as long as the number is 10. You can have up to 10 minutes, 59 seconds. Anybody can. But I don't know how people upload bigger ones. That would make a lot of less trouble. But I don't know if people want to sit there that long and watch a video. <gasps> anyway, so no, I don't know. Amish Horse had made a comment on 4513. I'm thinking bear, too. And, oh, it was Jesus who walked across the water. Ha, 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 ha. Oh no, Mushroom crept into this video too, but that was very pretty one, I must admit. She doesn't like the mushrooms. Yes, Marie doesn't like the blood, blood guts, and gore in the, um, the roadkill. And Amish Horse doesn't like mushrooms. See, there are people out there that I have to be careful of what I say. What I show them. Mm -hmm. I usually do a disclaimer, but not before a mushroom. Amos Horse said on 4510, Come on, go in the house and have some tea or hot chocolate. I don't know what I was doing or what you were doing, but you were obviously wanting some too. Amos Horse made a comment on 4509. Seriously, these are in capital letters. What is up with the mushrooms? You girls really, really dig them, don't you? Is there a 10-step program for mushroom addiction? Ha, ha, ha. You must be talking about my friend who was teaching me all the mushrooms. Barb. She knows the mushrooms since she's been little. And I'm just learning it. I'm not learning it because I really want to eat them. I've got enough to eat, and I don't think mushrooms are what I would really want to eat first. But if I did need to eat them, it would be good to know which ones are edible. It also is just interesting to, so that when you're walking along, you can say, Oh, yeah, look, that's a portobello. Uh -huh, and over here is a shiitake, and that's a puffball. And you know, doesn't that make you feel good if you can label them all as you're going along? Makes me feel good. Makes me feel like I'm part of it. it makes me feel more that I'm not a stranger there. Ankus3, hi Ankus, has made a comment on movie 001. It's perfect where we are sitting. We can see either sides of the road and in front. Okay. Well, it's nice to know when you, you know, taking you guys through the woods in my car. It's good to know what you can see and stuff. Amish Horse has made a comment on Nancy Today, Sunshine the Kitten. Kitten is, Kitty is adorable. I have two Morton Toes. I have two Morton Toes, too. Not that anyone cares, but it gives wretched bunions, and my toe, longer toe hurts like the devil if I walk for a long time, especially in closed-in shoes. My feet hate shoes. Hmm, interesting. I never even knew what a Morton's toe was. Now, does the Morton's toe, is that the long second toe, or is that the, one, the first toe, which is actually too small? 
I mean, is it that the second toe is too long or is it just that the first one is too small? Because if you look at it, they're all in a nice line, but then you've got the short front toe. Hmm, makes me wonder. And I have big bunions. Is that the dent on the side of your foot thing? Well, anyway, and I don't, I don't like shoes that touch my foot. Like, I can't wear those clogs that are, um, whatever. Amish Horse made a comment on Sunshine the Kitten. Oh, we're still on that same one. Okay, we're moving down. Geraniums in the window boxes. Amish Horse has made a comment on Nancy today. Geraniums in the window boxes. You are a riot. Well, thank you. You sound as big a goof as me. Who knew? Love, love, love the geraniums. Also, excellent idea with the shelves. I have no windowsills wide enough to hold plants. But installing the shelves reeks of effort as my daughter-in-law would say lol but I bring I do bring some geraniums in though and stick them in a, on a couple of stools put in front of a window by the way you can never have too many flowers or stuffed animals Amish horse I want to get to know you I think you are fun okay so you say this video geraniums in the window box is a riot so let's click on it and when it opens up we will It has no sound. Why has it got no sound? Anyway, we'll go down here. So it's too much like work, I know. Um, so I'm going on here, I'm, I'm removing my, my comments because they m make your comments not be able to be seen. And I'll add this to funny, funny, funny. Okay, and now we'll go back to our comments. Let's turn off the video there. It has no sound. Why has it got no sound? I don't know. Okay, so we'll go back down here to our inbox. Little Tiny has made a comment on Nancy Today to the dump part three. The dump is becoming pretty high-tech place. Wow, indeed. Yes, we have a cool, cool dump. It is amazing. It's amazing when you want something and you're willing to work for it. People around here accomplish incredible things. You know, they got all that wood for that thing donated. Who donates like that much wood? Thousands of dollars worth of wood and everybody donated their labor. Unbelievable. I think there might have been a bit of a grant, but I don't know. Maybe not. Little Tiny said about To The Dump Part 4, I love the sink. I can see your soaps around it being beautiful. Please do a video with the finished product. I will, if I ever finish it. I have to make a hole big enough that I can remove the sink from the hole every time. I can take my table. My table will stay at Mira, and I'll have to remove my sink from it. This is for selling soaps in the summer. Okay, Post Little Tiny has made a comment on 4507. I had no idea mushrooms were strong enough to push through asphalt, Dina. Isn't that amazing? I don't know how much pushing that one mushroom can do, but maybe it's with repeated pressure in the same area. But, you know, then you've also got the, the frost will heave it. And so it could be that the frost had already heaved the asphalt in that area, so it was a little bit of a bump. Then you could get your mushroom in there and it could push up, perhaps. But you're right. I didn't know it was so strong either. That was my friend Barb. Was, she took me to where she finds mushrooms. Harmonica holder for the camera. Reused corn. That's the weirdest. Has made a comment on Nancy today. Harmonica holder for the camera. Nancy, do tell us what you... What that... Do tell what that was that you saw. Lol. You... Cut it off just as I answered you. What? Lol. Anyway, I think it was a squirrel. A red squirrel. Ran across the road. Okay, Dina Emily posted a comment on my profile. Hi, did I miss you, BD? That would be my birthday. If so, I hope it was a great one. Yes, it is a great one. I always have a good birthday because I decide to. I love, and I give out things. Like on my birthday, I gave everybody at church soap. Because I just wanted to make everybody have a presents on my birthday. Because birthdays are present days, aren't they? So how come I have to open all the presents? How come 
I can't watch other people smile. See, that would really make me have a wonderful birthday if I had 